Question 4. Introduction to Sequences. This is a very interesting question. Read the question, think about it, make a choice, stop the video, and then move on, okay? Consider a set of numbers, minus 1, 2, minus 3, 4, minus 5. The choices are, is it a sequence? Is it sequence and series? Series or not a sequence? Well, the fourth choice is very interesting, not a sequence. Why do I have that choice? Remember when we gave in the very first question a function f of x equals to 1 over x and the choices were that x could be integer, natural numbers or real numbers. The correct answer was a set of natural numbers. So, in a sequence, the domain of our numbers is just natural numbers which begin with 1, correct? But if we give a sequence as such or a set of numbers which form a pattern, then you can write this pattern in a form of a function where n is a set of natural numbers, right? For example, I can write this as a function, let's say f of n equals to, so this is na natural numbers, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The only thing is, that 1, 3, 5, the odd numbers are negative, right? So I can write this as minus 1 to the power of n, right? Minus 1 to the power of n times n, right? So what happens is, if n is 1, for example, let's find out. If n is 1, then minus 1 will to the power of 1 will be minus 1 and I'll get the first term, minus 1. If n is 2, then minus 1 square will become positive and n becomes 2, so I get plus 2, right? If n is 3, then odd number, the odd degree, will give minus 1 to the power of 3 as negative and I get negative 3. Do you understand? So, you can now use this. So, this like your function or you can write a general term for this also and in terms of general term, we will write this as minus 1 to the power of n times n, right? Now, if I write n as set of natural numbers, that's what I meant. So, we say t1 equals to minus 1 to the power of 1 times n, which is equals to minus 1, right? I'll, I should have put 1 here, right? Now, t2 is equals to minus 1 to the power of 2 times 2, right? This should have been 1, right? And then... So, this is equals to minus 1 squared is positive, right? So, I get 2 here. No need to write positive for me. T3 is equals to minus 1 to the power of 3, right? Times 3, which is minus 3. And T4 equals to minus 1 to the power of 4 times 4, which is equals to plus 4. Do you see? Like that, the series will move on. Every odd degree will give us negative and we will get our set of numbers. So this number set is a sequence, right? You know it is not a series because in series we are interested in addition and when we say sum of terms then we are talking about series. Otherwise just a sequence, okay? So the choice, the correct choice here is A, sequence. I hope you get it and you find it interesting. Share with your friends, write your comments, and then move on to the next interesting question. Thank you.